re-index the sum from k is equal to 4 to 15 of k squared plus k minus 8 so that we can use our special sum formulas to evaluate it. Well, the idea here is we have three special sums that we know, and if we look at those rules, they all apply to sums that go from k equals 1 to some number. So the sum of the first n whole numbers, that's n times n plus 1 all over 2. The sum of the first n squares is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And then finally, the sum from 1 to n of the k cubes. So the sum of the first n cubes is n times n plus 1 all over 2 squared. And to use these formulas, I need sums that start at 1. So we're supposed to re-index this, and in particular, we need to re-index it so that our sum starts at 1. And we can kind of think about doing this two different ways. So I'm going to start the way I, I tend to think about it. So I need this to start at k is equal to 1 rather than 4, but I need to be have the same number of terms. So if I think about it, right, 15 minus 4 is 11, so I need this to go from 1 to 12, right? So I have 12 things in my sum every single time. And now I need to come up with a new formula. And that new formula is going to have the same basic pattern as the one I started with. It's just I need to think of what's going to happen in here to offset the difference in k. So if I think about it, the first time I would have plugged 4 in. I would have gotten 4 squared 16. Well, now I'm plugging in a 1. And I can fix that by adding 3 to it. And if I really think about it, I took 3 away from all the k's, so I can undo that by adding 3 to each one of them in here. Same thing here, I would have plugged a k in, and that would have been a plus 4, and so now I need a k plus 3. So the first time I plug that 1 in, I get a plus 4, and this should give me the same sum. I took 3 away from all the k's, so inside here I have to add 3 back. Well, I'm going to simplify the sum, go on and work it all the way out, and get an answer. And then I'll tell you a different way you could think about doing this. And you can just choose whichever method you like. So I'm going to square this out, and then I'll end up combining some like terms. All right, there's just the one square term, but I have 6k and 1k more, so I have 7k. And then let's see, I have a plus 9 plus 3 is 12. Minus 8 is 4. So this sum and this sum are actually equal. This one I can split up using some sum properties and then apply our special formulas. All right, so in this last part, I'm really just adding four to itself 12 times, so I know I'm gonna get 48, four times 12. This first part, I get to use um, this formula, where n is now 12. So I'd have 12 times 13, uh, two times 12 plus one, so times 25, all over six, and then plus seven times the sum of the first 12 whole numbers. So I get to use this property, excuse me, this, this formula. So I have 12 times 13 all over 2, and now I just need to, to do that sum. And we could probably manage to do that in our head. We could definitely go on and divide that out. But you know what? I have my handy TI-84 off camera here, so I'm just going to use it to go on and get an answer. So this first part simplifies to 650. And that's a 546. I'm just gonna double check that one. All right, and then plus 48. It's missing an eight there somehow. Four times 12 is in fact 48. So I have 650 plus 546 plus 48. It's 1,244. And there's my final answer. All right, well I told you I'd, I'd show you one other way to rethink just re-indexing the sum. And so I'll just do that part again. We won't need to work it all out one more time.
So I can imagine that same idea, but I need to go from one to 12, um, except for I'm gonna do it a little differently this time. I forgot my first step. So this time, instead of using K again, I'm gonna let there be an I. So I'm gonna change the index from being a K to being an I. And I need this new sum to start at one, where I want it to say I equals one, and that makes me realize that I is simply all of the Ks take three away. Right, and so that is a value of K. I plug it in there, and now I is one when K was four. When K is 15, I is 12, and so this sum will go from one to 12. Well, the formula on the inside was all about k, so I can solve this for k, and I get i plus 3. So now wherever there was a k, I can replace it with an i plus 3. And it doesn't matter what I call my index, so this is in fact the same sum that we have written down right here, but found through substitution rather than just thinking our way through it. But regardless, we'd be able to use our special um, sum rules, you can get 1,244.